Hi everyone. So this is the 20 watt foldable solar panel, the F16-1200 um, from uh, Power Film Solar. Uh, you can go to the PowerFilmSolar.com website to get more specifications on the 20 watt uh, foldable solar panel. Um, on the same website, PowerFilmSolar.com, you can find some of the sellers of the panel. I went with the uh, CaliforniaPC.com, they were less expensive, and I've bought a few things from them before, the CaliforniaPC.com um, warehouse. Um, I, called, I called them up, um, spoke to a great guy called Joe, uh, told him, hey, can I go pick it up? He said yes, so I drove to San Clemente, California, um, and here it is. First thing I noticed, it doesn't come in the white box. It comes in this, um, you know, I guess a paper looking box. Um, okay, so let's open this up. Let's see what we got. We got the um, RA2 12 volt female cigarette light lighter adapter. This is gonna be useful for me. Um, if you don't use this, there's another um, thing that you can use it for. I'll talk about that later. And then here we have uh, the operating instructions. Very important that you read this. A um, couple of things. Uh, polarity is important. Um, you know, what you're going to, how you're going to operate it. Um, give you other specifications as well. Um, definitely you should read it. And here's the panel. Wow. Very uh, lightweight. Um, this is the first time I see it. Very nice. So, um, 20 watts. Operating voltage is at 15.4. Current is at 1.2, and it tells you right here. Uh, also, it says, you know, you have 16, 1200. 1200 because it's 1200 um, milliamps, most likely. Um, gives you the where, where you can find more info at powerfilmsolar.com. Um, okay, uh, dimensions, when it's folded, it's about 13 by 8, oh, 12, 12.7, right, by 7.5, but basically 13 by 8, and then 1.5, this way, the thickness, it might be less if you, uh, fold it a little bit, but I would not fold it too much, and we'll talk about that, um, in a little bit, um, when it's unfolded, it's about 2 by 3. Or, you know, 33.7 by 25.3. Well, 2 by 3 almost. Almost. Weight is a half a kilogram, right? Or about a pound. Um, which is uh, decent. I mean, my, my 50 watt solar panel that's on the roof is about 17 pounds. And that thing is a monster. Um, Alright. So... When you open this, it has a flap, and you see that it doesn't have one of those uh, standard solar connections. This used to be called those Delphi uh, weather pack connectors. I think they're now uh, Apti weather pack connectors. Um, I don't know why it has these connections. I can only assume a couple of things. Uh, one thing that I do know, and it might be because of this, this has a certain military uh, specification, uh, the 810G, which is a U.S. military specification that guarantees a level of durability for a piece of technology. Um, uh, specifically, it means the equipment has gone through a series of 29 tests, apparently. Um, everything from shock to vibration to heat, cold gunfire, uh, humidity, and more. Uh, so, it has a certain spec, and I'm imagining maybe that's why this plug is used. I don't know, but it's possible. So, one thing that I did was um, I learned how to create these connections, uh, put it into, on the other end of the wire, Anderson Power Poles, so I can connect this to, um, to my solar controller. Now, you don't have to build one of these. You already have something like this, don't you? Which is this. So, 
This is that 12 volt female cigarette lighter adapter. If you're not going to use this, you could cut the end on the female side right here. Just cut that, put the Anderson power pulse mode. You got to make sure the polarity is correct. So you got to, you know, do a little bit of, of uh, investigating there. And then you have the connector ready. You just pop it in and then you put it into whatever application. Um, connections are pretty straightforward. Let's see. You just slide it in and there it, is, it clicks. And then you can press the button down and then it unlocks. Very nice. Okay. And one thing you'll find out is that it has a flap. And the flap is really used to cover the solar panel on the end. It's a little bit inconvenient. You got to make sure it's on the, on, on the other side. Um, this measures about 18 inches long. And you will see, let's see how you fold it back there. <laughs> um, you can see that it has these um, nice holes here, right? Um, where you can um, tie it. You should tie this, and it, it comes in all four corners, right? This is this is one corner, this is the other corner, this is the other two corners. Um, you gotta make sure you tie it because it will fly away if there's a strong wind. Um, so that's that's something too that you should be aware of. A lot of people, what they'll do is they'll have their tent and then they'll fold this over the tent or put it on the side, most likely on the south of the tent, so that uh, the sun at an angle will give you the best amperage. Um, okay, so you unfold it a little more. And this is the first time I see this, let's see what happens. Hmm, interesting, very nice. As expected, I mean, this thing is um, two feet by three feet, right? Uh, three by two, uh, let's see. These panels here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. Very nice. And then this is approximately, oh, I don't know, six and a quarter by 11 and a half, approximately. Okay. It says on here, if you read this, uh, it says on here, it says, uh, uh, keep dry, but it says do not crease solar material, which is this, I guess. So you shouldn't be folding this uh, because if you do, it's probably going to do some damage to it. Can you fold here? Probably right in the center, but why would you fold it? There's probably no reason to do that. And if you're looking for any wires, you won't feel them, I don't think. And I got a great video. Um, that I found on YouTube that I believe is the same material that they use for the power film. It's very interesting how, how much technology um, they use to create this. And that's probably one of the reasons why uh, it's um, not relatively inexpensive. It, it has a certain standard. Uh, it's made in the U.S. Um, and it, it's, it's, it's made to last. And a lot of things are handmade. You watch that video and you'll be pretty um, happy with the quality so far I'm happy with my 5 watt panel um, and this one is going to be something that's going to be very helpful in the application that I want to use it for um, so let's talk about tips um, for best use uh, you're definitely going to have to angle this towards the sun. Um, because if you lay it flat, it's not going to give you 1.2. Um, if you angle it right, you're, you're definitely going to get 1 amp or, or definitely more. Um, I mean, it, it has to be in a perfect situation where you're going to get those 1.2 amps. But um, in the shade, I know with my 5 watt one, well, if there's some shade or if there's like sunlight going through a tree, um, you still get power. Um, you're not going to get all the power, but you're going to get some that will trickle in and you're going to be really, really happy. The voltage doesn't drop very much 
when there's shade or partial parts of the solar panel is under shade, which is which is pretty amazing. Um, more on that when I do test this. Uh, it says always store in a cool, dry environment. Most likely, the material something will happen to it if if it's wet all the time. Um, not designed for use in the rain. Allow time to dry before packing if panel is wet. So apparently, you know, you gotta let it air dry if it rains. I'm sure if it's outside, if it if it's just raining, you figured out, hey, I need to put it in. I don't think it's gonna be a problem um, bringing it in and making sure um, to dry it. Routinely clean the solar panel. Uh, that's because if there's sand or dirt, the performance is not going to be as great. Um, and so this is this is going to be very nice to put. I'm going to test this now to fold it. Um, definitely fold it within within itself, and then you can see that um, you can fold it. And it's, you can feel how to fold it, right? It's going to take a little while to, like, how do you fold this? But it, you can sort of feel the creases. Wow, very nice. Definitely it will be able to fit in my bag. Um, and then, of course, with the different uh, connections that I have for the solar panel, I'll be able to utilize it the way I want. Okay, so if you have any questions, uh, please, you know, put them on the comments below. If you liked, um, you know, some of the comments or the description um, of this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, and I hope uh, I'll see you out there. Uh, be safe. This is uh, Frank, Whiskey Charlie, Zero Oscar.